Okay, so here we're working on chapter 16, problem 9, and it reads, the speed of a transverse wave on a string is 450 meters per second, and the wavelength is 0.18 meters. The amplitude of the wave is 2.0 millimeters. How much time is required for a particle of the string to move through a total distance of one kilometer? Okay. All right, so what I have here first is a drawing of what we are working on, and we have our velocity of this string or, or this wave that's being moved at 450 meters per second. So it's a string with a wave propagating through it, and how, how did you make that wave? You I told me. I because, I mean, if it was a string, strings are made out of particles, and so. Well, you just yanked we, it, right? You told me you just yanked it. it. Yeah, it will create an up and down wave, as we see here, a transverse wave that de develops these, this amount of speed, 450 meters per second. It would also have this amplitude, 2.0. Two meters per uh, millimeters per sec. Well, just two millimeters, and then we have the wavelength, which is 0.18 meters. From the, that's the just from, from here. this crest to this crest. Right. Um. So how I began. So what do we want to find in this problem? What we want to find is how how long is it or how many um how fast how how much time would it take for it to cross one kilometer? Um. So what we what, what we trying to you remember this is this is a particle in the wave and it's just going up and down and up and down and up and down. Mm -hmm. So it is it travels a distance of one amplitude when it goes up and then when it comes back that's two amp and amplitudes then and then it down, comes down it's three, three and then back is four. four. So that's four times the amplitude every one cycle. It travels a certain how much how, how how much distance does it travel in that cycle? It travels in one cycle it would be eight millimeters. Eight millimeters. So what they want to know is how how long would it take to go one kilometer if it takes if it goes eight millimeters in, in one, one cycle. cycle yep so, so we yep. begin by um i know i just you know converted you know some of these uh measurements so that we would all be on meters mm -hmm. where the um, amplitude and the distance of the one kilometer good and so i started off where it says here the amplitude is one fourth of a cycle that's how we got the we started here with, with two and you bring it down you get four all the way down you get six and then back here would be eight mm -hmm. to complete the cycle mm -hmm. so we have 8.0 times 10 to the negative three meters mm -hmm. um next in order which is the total distance travel in one cycle yep yes and next we wanted to figure out um the period of each cycle that we're going to use so in order to do that we use this formula t equals Wavelength divided by velocity. Mm -hmm. and that's the transverse velocity of the wave. And what is this lambda? This is um, wave, wavelength. The wavelength. Which they give us here at 0.18. And so we have 0.8, well, 0.18 meters divided by our velocity, which is 450 meters per second, which comes out to be 4.0 times 10 to negative 4 seconds. This is the amount of time it's going to take for us to get through one cycle. Yep. And so, with that, um, we also, oops, I actually messed up something. So what you did was calculate the number of cycles, the number of cycles that it would go through to go, that it would take to go one kilometer. You know that to go through one cycle, it it goes point, I mean, eight times 10 to the negative three meters. Um, so how many cycles would it take to go one kilometer? And that's what you're gonna, that's what you're writing right now. And we did that by dividing what we're looking for, one kilometer over the amount of, uh, the amount it takes for it to go through one cycle, right. which is 8.0 times 10 to negative 3. Mm -hmm. that and gives that gives you us 1.25 times 10 to the 5. The number of cycles. We yep. use that. That's the number of cycles that it takes to get through one, one kilometer. Mm -hmm. Multiply that by the time it takes for us to get through one kilometer. Uh, one cycle. One, one cycle. Mm -hmm. And that would equal out to 5.0 times 10 to the 1 second. Mm -hmm. in order for us to get through this distance of one kilometer. Right. Okay. Good.